Right, to bring you back, um, I want to thank Boneyard Garage on YouTube for the inspiration for this. Thank you, Boneyard Garage. I wouldn't have been able to do this without your video. Cheers. Hello, to bring you back. I've made my own motorcycle spark tester. Um, don't seem to be any spark inline spark testers available for motorcycle size plugs. With the, the little skinny end. So I've made my own. Taking an old HT lead, it's an old car one. Chopped the end off. Found myself a little set screw, which is the same size roughly as the end of the spark plug. I this end I then filed to a point on my bench grinder. Um, this particular lead has the silicon or carbon strip inside it so I left a bit of that hanging out. I pushed this in and I wound that around, wound the electrode around it and then put some heat shrink on everything and I left enough sticking out that it will go up the plug cap in the bike. The other end because I didn't have a spare motorcycle plug cap, um, I've used the car one, but what I've done is I've just squashed down the connector so that it just, just fits in there, just grips. A bit tricky, it would be much better with a motorcycle one, but it works. And in the middle, the lead is cut. Uh, all I've got is a little plastic, one of those plastic tubes that um, that putty, metal filler putty stuff comes in. Can't remember the name of it at the moment. JB Weld. Anyway, it comes in a plastic tube. So I've cut the tube down. You don't have to. You can have the tube full length if you like. Uh, Drill the hole in each end used a step drill so I could keep checking it for the size of the plug. A uh, little bit of little bit of hot glue which you don't really need, you don't need to seal it and then in fact if you don't seal that you can adjust your your plug gap. So there you go, there it is. Now I will attempt to show you it working on the bike. Um, whether it's actually going to come out on camera or not is debatable because the spark is pretty much bluey purple. You get the odd white bit now and again, but we'll have a go, see if I can show you. All right then, when I get my new coils and leads, I'll be able to use one of the old leads that's uh, one of the ones that isn't buggered, and I'll be able to use that in the in this setup. But, so, I probably can't do this one-handed, yeah. Because I've got it like this, it's quite a fiddle to find the end of the plug. So if you had one of these spare ends and a lead, you'd obviously just use that. But it's it's working. Just got to get it in there. That's it, you can feel that it's on the end of the plug. Now this end, with the screw, it's literally going to push in the end of this cap. Which I had to do two-handed of course. Right, let's see if we can actually film this for you. There you go. There's the spark. Yeah, excuse the sound of the bike, it's only running on three cylinders, hence the, uh, hence making that. So, there you go, it's the springy Sparkomatic 5 million. Cheers, peace and love. Um, I'll see you next week when I get some coils and leads and bits and hopefully fix the bike. If not, we'll be stripping the carbs again. Deep joy, see you later.